Hello, 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 guys. Welcome to the Kange Household of Faith again today. And um, guess, guess what? what? We're about to bring to you the word of restoration in the spirit, in of, the faith. spirit of faith. guys. Welcome. Hallelujah. And by the way, talking about the spirit of faith, we will have to visit some, some aspects of the spirit of faith today. Okay. But in the spirit of faith, hallelujah, 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 the Lord God is faithful. Yeah. So how are you, Pastor Pauline? I am doing great as usual. All wonderful. right. So we are we are doing. Um, God is faithful. Oh yes. God is faithful. Is faithful. And mighty God. Faithful. I had a conversation today with my Vineland family. Okay. So and I am looking forward corner. to being in Vineland, New Jersey, over the next uh, from. July the 4th mm -hmm. all the, the way to the 10th and um, hmm, I will be doing opening night on the 4th that will be amazing you are uh, well that's what it is right now it shall be amazing <laughs> so glory 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 <laughs> hey guys welcome Hi, welcome welcome, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> these <laughs> things happen like miracles <laughs> 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 so, welcome, Pastor Colin. welcome. Yes, sir. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Yes. Good, good. I like the fact that you are enjoying the exploits that are in Christ Jesus. <laughs> That's wonderful. With That's you. why we are children of God. With you, hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> With me, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So, yes. hello, Minister yes. Maka. Good to have mind. you. God bless you. God bless you. Get bless you. God Hi, bless you. Good to have you. Hallelujah. Hi. Hallelujah. Isn't God Hello, wonderful? We welcome. Thank you, Jesus. We're excited you're here, Minister Darlene. Amen. Amen. Hey, Minister Ether Kayuma. Good evening. Hello, Pastor Ruth. God bless you. Good to have you on. Good to have you on. The Lord is indeed our helper. <laughs> Hi, Minister Abby. Welcome. Hi, Pastor Ruth. That's right. Hi, Doc. Welcome, welcome. Hallelujah. Glory, the word of glory. restoration in the spirit, spirit of, of faith. <laughs> That's right. That's right. So we are going to be having a great time with the Lord tonight. It shall be a great As time. As always, He never fails, and today there Jesus. wouldn't be an exception. Praise God, praise God, praise God. So, Pastor Paul, you had a good day? Yes. Very good. It was you, a quiet one. The quiet one? Yeah. You have one of those scriptures, like God usually gives you, like one of those scriptures, <laughs> and you want to share that? I've been staying on, on my 7 Eleven scripture. Enjoy 7 Eleven. Yeah, I'm staying on my But we don't. Do, do you think they know about 7 Eleven? Uh, no. Okay, just share 7 Eleven again. Guys, this is not, this is not a quick stop for coffee or. No, it's 7-Eleven, <laughs> the Bible verse. So tell us what happened. Yeah, God gave me a scripture. He actually said to me, I want to give you a 7-Eleven. And then he gave me the scripture. And it's okay. Genesis chapter 7, verse 11. All right, guys, write that down. Genesis. <laughs> write and that it's, down. It's been my scripture for a couple of days now. And I'm okay. staying, That's staying good. at it. Staying at it, staying at it, masticating, meditating, medicating okay. on the scripture, on that verse. Genesis 7, 11. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is it saying? And it's a B part, but I can read from the beginning. In the 600th year of Noah's life, in the second month, the 17th day of the month. In the how many years? The 600th year. I think purpose makes a difference. If you have to live for 600 years and all you do is to wake up and you go and drink and you come back and you go, to, I think that's boring. Yeah. So I agree with Noah. If you have to build an act and because of that you stay around for that long, it's good. And I, I, I love the precision. It, it says that God, God is progressive in the way he deals with us and he gives us information and adds as he goes along mm -hmm. because his ways are higher than our ways and mm -hmm. his thoughts higher than our thoughts. So yeah. we really cannot contain in our brains 
the, the fullness mm -hmm. of who he is. So he has to reveal himself to us in bits and pieces. Right. What we can contain at the time. So he gives you a revelation here now and then tomorrow he gives you a different revelation and he keeps adding, mm -hmm. you know, precept upon precept, a little here, a little there, mm -hmm. you know. And, and looking at this verse of scripture to say there is this precision of when God spoke to to him about this in the mm -hmm. 600th year of Noah's life, mm -hmm. in the second month, the 17th day of the month. Right. That same day. So mm -hmm. it brought it down to the day, mm -hmm. the specifics. The same day where all the fountains of the great deep broken up and the windows of heaven were opened. And when God gave me the scripture, he was talking to me with precision and was saying this day, I don't know if I can really explain it the way the, the, the experience that I had. You know, you know you can have an experience in, in, in the glory realm, in your place of prayer, you, what we call encounters, and it may last for, I don't know, five minutes, 15 minutes, but it may take you an, an entire hour trying to explain it <laughs> because some of those experiences, there are no words for them. You really cannot experience a sensa ex explain the sensations or the knowings that come along with the, the words that you're given. And sometimes you don't have words to explain what you saw right. and how you felt. You know, so, but in that moment, I understood there was a knowing. It was like this is, um, before he gave me the scripture, I said, I'm, I'm about to give you a 7 Eleven. I was like, a 7 Eleven? Of course, if God says I'm about to give you a 7 Eleven, I'm excited. Anything God says is going to give you, you no, know, it's going to <laughs> Because right. all good things and all perfect gifts come from above, right? right? From the Father of lights. So I was already excited. And then he, he said, go to Genesis 7 Eleven. And when I saw it, I began to scream. Because in that moment, I knew that God was saying, this same day, this day, for you, I have caused all the foundations of the great deep to be broken up. And I've opened the windows of heaven over you. And it's been phenomenal, the things that have been happening, because indeed, the windows of heaven are open. You know, Pastor yeah. Pauline, you know, I'm kind of gazing in, in, in space because you, you're speaking and, you know, like Paul was talking about being caught up. Mm -hmm. And I can see why we are going to have the conversation we will be having today. Because I think it's important to talk about the world of faith. <laughs> the world. The world of faith. Mm -hmm. The world of faith. So when we are talking about the world of faith, we are talking about the worlds as in whatever cosmos or galaxies are involved in that world and, and planets mm -hmm. within that world and the stars and, and the moons in that galaxy. You know, mm -hmm. we, we, the, 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 the world of faith. So it's 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 it's, it's a thing, and, and I and, and just like you're saying, God talking about giving you a Seven Eleven. It's like, can you visualize a world that has trenches, tunnels, and you move from tunnel to tunnel? And you, mm -hmm. you realize that your movement from tunnel to tunnel is synonymous to the movement of a train from rail to rail. And that you are moving from trench to trench or from, from tunnel to tunnel as, or should I say, within an encapsulated vessel. Right. And that vessel is a setting word. It's a certain word. May I? <laughs> yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So it's a certain word. Yes. The word of God talks about that in the book of Hebrews. How he gave a word on a certain day. Oh, yes. You know, and, and uh, uh, it's, it's, it's just powerful, right? I know we haven't prayed, but when you hear some things, it's like you, you come into something. Mm -hmm. How he said on a certain day. So, so let's go to the book of Hebrews, and, and I just would like to to read that. 
Um, oh my God, I give you glory. I give you glory. I give you glory. I give you glory. Indeed, in Him we live and move and have our being. There is no one like God. I, and, and that image doesn't leave me. Being encapsulated by a word. Right? Okay. So we're in the book of Hebrews. Now, remember that when, when the writer of the book of Hebrews begins to expand on this God that we know. He, he takes it, well, it's like a, a, the letter is connected anyway. It, it's, it's put together. But I think it was in our last broadcast that we began to say, have you ever heard that someone's nose fell? Uh -huh. You know, and we went to Hebrews chapter 1 verse 3. Right. And, and you find that discussion unfolding to where it comes to chapter 3 and chapter 4. Mm -hmm. um, 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 in chapter 4, he talks about um, the word of God being quick. Um, um, let, let me just read that. I, it's in passing, but, but let me read it. It says, in, in, let, let me begin from verse 11, where it says, Let us therefore labor to so you enter. Want to start then walk your way it, it's kind of like that. Okay. Like, just. <laughs> okay. um, oh my God. Uh, okay, so, so, so we will talk about the day, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll talk about the day. It's over here. Okay. But, but here it says, Let us labor therefore to enter into that rest mm -hmm. because there remaineth yet a rest. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and this is him saying, listen, guys, there is a day. Mm -hmm. There is a day within all the days, yes. right? Th there is a day within all the days. So, so here we go. Oh, God, you're amazing. Thank you, you are, You're amazing. Okay, so we're in Hebrews chapter 3, right? So in Hebrews chapter 3, it says in verse 14 that we are made partakers and then in verse 13, it says we should exhort one another daily while it is called today, while it is called today mm -hmm. lest any of you be what? Hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. Of sin. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he says, now we have been, we, we, we have to make sure that we are not hardened by the deceitfulness of sin. And, and someone can say, okay, deceitfulness of sin, I am not sinning. I get what you are trying to say. But the word of God calls this, this sin here that the, the word of God is talking about, is talking about doubt and unbelief. Unbelief. Cause it an evil heart of yes. unbelief. It, it says it, it, if you come into that place, you will fall short of coming into the promises of God. It says, okay, for, for we are made partakers uh, um, of Christ. If we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast unto the end that's what he says he says excuse me verse, verse verse 15 says while it is said today if ye will hear his voice harden not your heart as in the day of provocation so the the day that was called the day of provocation was the day when people had an evil heart of unbelief so he is saying here, no, you can't do that. You can't do that. You can't do that. Because if you miss your day, within the days, and days being defined by what God says. You know, this, this whole thing is like, um, it's like all over scripture. Mm -hmm. Because he, he defined the days in the book of Genesis by what he said. The days in the book of Genesis were defined by what God said. So whenever God said something, people came into a new day. Come on. And that is the truth of the word. Yeah. Every time God says something to you and you, you hear it, you receive it, you just access a new day. Yeah. Because like you, you will normally say, within the word is, a, is found the, the, the thing right. of, I don't know how to say it. Let me rephrase. Let me hear you rephrase. Yeah. You know, it sounds different in your head. I and know. the way you say it, it sounds differently. It's like a, the word carries with it the thing, the substance of that word. Yes. So if I say pen, the word pen carries, carries a pen in it. And, 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 may and, I add, and may the, I add. the substance that a pen brings. Right. The word pen 
carries within it hands. Yes. Yes. Every, every word, every word describes the author of words. Right. Just like the word of God says, all of creation talks about the creator. That's right. Right? So the word pen carries within it pens right. and all kinds of pens. All kinds of pens that you can imagine. That's the only, this is and the, the possibilities that can come into your life as a result of you having the pen. Ooh. It, 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 so it's been interesting because when, when he talked to me about giving me a 7-Eleven, when he, he showed me the scripture, one of the reasons why I screamed, and when I screamed, I said it out loud, I said, this is better than a 7-Eleven because <laughs> it's definitely better than a 7-Eleven. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, it is mm -hmm. all the foundations of the great deep being mm, broken up mm, 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 mm. and the windows of heaven open over me. Yeah. There is no 7-Eleven that can be compared to that. No. And, uh, and so when, when we talk about a word carrying the substance of its essence, mm -hmm. it is so important because mm -hmm. when you look at that word and you receive that word, you're receiving the fullness of what that word brings. So, Pastor Pauline, you know, let me throw this in. Yes. Because I think, I don't think, I, 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 I'm hearing something. Okay. Okay, I'm hearing something. Do you think God has given other people 7-Eleven? I think so. Do you see where I'm going to? Yes. So, so, so God franchises his scriptures. <laughs> I like that, franchises. So, so, so there are many words, and all of these words go to different children of God, <laughs> and every word that you, you take, carries you, becomes one with you, and moves you to the next tunnel. Because the world of faith, Pastor Pauline, I'm, I'm, I'm very serious. Have you ever made a word, I'm asking, have you ever had a word given to you and you make that word? I know we, we may have heard many um, teachings from the scripture in which Jesus said to Peter, come and he walked on water and we understand that he was able to walk on water because he walked on the word come have you ever held on to a word taken a word from the lord and milked it do you know what it means to milk a word like you milk a cow where you are able to say i have flipped this word inside out upside down and every time you flip that word over and you meditate on it and medicate on it and masticate on that word is like dimensions of God are being exposed to you and you are coming into manifestations of what that word carries every time it's interesting how you can receive one word and it takes you for 10 years oh my goodness I remember when God gave us the word Helsion <laughs> And how far that word took us and how far it is still taking us. Mm -hmm. Where God is saying, I, I, I've, I've called you. You are not a regular person. No. You have uh, in your life supernatural divine abilities. You are a partaker of my divine nature. And based on that, you are able to produce in the middle of the winter solstice, like the, the Helcyon bird, you are able to produce in the middle of winter, it doesn't matter the storm that is approaching. It doesn't matter the storm you are found in. You are not just trying to weather the storm. You're not just trying to hold on until the storm passes. No, you are producing in the middle of the storm as if it is a regular day. You know, and we have seen God carry us yes. with that word. There is a, a network. A network of tunnels. Okay. Network of tunnels. Everyone who's listening to us right now is somewhere, some tunnel okay. in the spirit realm. And the word that they are sitting in 
Ah, oh, Mr. Pauline, mm. I really want to explain this. The word that they are sitting in is feeding them. It's their environment. Mm -hmm. But then there are higher words with other kinds of provision. moving within other tunnels mm -hmm. and God's desire is for us to come into all of the tunnels oh, that he has provided Amen. And, and you see you can only come into the tunnels mm -hmm. by the vehicle that transports people from tunnel to tunnel we have to be lovers of the word because there is no telling what word will carry you away. <laughs> there is no telling. And it's interesting. I don't know how many of you have had this experience when, when you're studying the word of God. And most of these things happen when you're doing this on your private time. I understand the part of opening the scriptures when you're in the service, when the man of God or woman of God gives his scripture and you open it. That is very important. It's important for you to own a Bible where you can open your Bible and see the scriptures for yourself. There is a connection between your eyes and your heart and your hand. So you have to have a, a love for jotting down things, taking down notes. It, something else also happens when you are studying the word on your own. Where you, the Holy Spirit begins to open up scriptures to you i don't know how it happens for you but some of you have experiences where you you literally see like the letters jump off the page at you you know god is saying something you may have read that same verse a million times before but on this particular day talking about a day yeah that day mm -hmm. this day that scripture jumps out at you very differently and you are staring at it like, my goodness, I've never seen this before. Something different hits you on that particular day. And you know mm. that this is a word from the Lord to me. To me as a person. Not just something that is written in the Bible. Yes. So you, you have to desire those moments. And those moments don't happen unless you, you actually sit down and open the word. Yeah. So, let me finish reading. Yes, sir. Now, we, 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 we kind of went through, came to, to Hebrews chapter 3 mm -hmm. and, and, and said yes, what... to get to the verse. Yeah, we are going to the verse now. <laughs> okay. And then now we, came, we are going to Hebrews chapter 4. Mm -hmm. Let us therefore fear lest any being left us mm -hmm. of entering into rest, any of you should seem to come short of it. Yeah. Okay? Verse 2. For unto us was the gospel preached, as well as unto them. But the word, the word preached did not profit them. It did not transport them. It, it, they, didn't, they didn't enter the vehicle. They didn't enter that word. They didn't come into it. The Bible says, and they did not come into it because it, it wasn't mixed with faith in them that heard it. So every time you're hearing something, you're hearing it because your new has come. So, mm. so your new comes knocking at your door with a word. <laughs> with a word. Come on. That's right, Minister Natasha. That's exactly what it is. Illumination of the word as if it is a flashlight. Yes. On those specific words. Yes. That's yes. it. So, so <laughs> every, time, every time a new day comes for a child of God, mm -hmm. every time a new day comes, it comes knocking at your door with a word. With a word. So actually, it is the word that determines the day. Did you all hear that? The word determines the, word the day. Determines the day. So if the word comes and the word that the child of God, uh, uh, this is not being superstitious mm -hmm. or or. Not at all. Uh, <laughs> voodooistic this is not being one of those crazy things i just want you to know that if you wake up someday right if you wake up sunday someday someday whatever that day is you wake up someday and the word that is magnified to you is the word joy 
if you accept that word and you release yourself into that word called joy, you will burst out laughing uncontrollably and you will have joy unspeakable. Yes, yes. Right? Joy unspeakable. And that word that day not only becomes the, the, the encapsulating vehicle that transports you into that new day, it also becomes the protective shield. Yes, yes. And, and, and it's, the, it's a battle axe. It's, it's your tool of warfare for the day. Oh, my God. It's like one instrument that you can wield in any in direction. In any direction. It is beautiful. So, so this is exciting. Stuff. Okay, so let's let's continue. It says it did not profit them. So when a word comes to us, it comes for a certain kind of profit. Amen. And Pastor Paul, in talking about words, do you like the word profit? Mm -hmm. So how many times can one profit within the word profit? <laughs> Multiple times. <laughs> exactly. So you can have a word that came to you last year, and it comes again this year, yes. and then it comes again next year. Well, you keep profiting. And okay, so how about can it come every month? Keep it. We keep profiting out of it. Amen. Okay, it says in verse 3, it says, For we which have believed do what? Enter into that's, rest. That's what I'm saying. Enter into rest. That's, that, that is the thing right here. There is, there, is an, there is an open door. Thank you, Lord. There is an open door. There's an exit door. So, Scripture says, there is no temptation mm -hmm. there is no trial there is no amount of heat that a child of God is living through that other children of God do not live oh. through but God has what With everyone prepared an exit the yeah. exit strategy would be like something like this Let's go over to the other side. Mm -hmm. Come. Two by two. Every word that Jesus utters out of his mouth is a door for something. Yes. You never know what it is at a time, but it's a door for something. That's right. And that's what he's Have saying to us. Have them sit on the grass. Have them sit on the grass. <laughs> Who sits on the grass in a desert? I don't know. Don't ask me where the grass came from. But the Bible says it was a desert place. Yes. So how they had grass? Glory. Glory. But, but, but that is Jesus saying whatever he's saying. For, for we which have believed, when you believe, you enter into rest. As he said, as I have sworn in my wrath, if they shall enter into my rest, although the works were finished from the foundations of the world. Now, Pastor Pauline, this statement right here in verse 3 is, is like saying, a negative statement that's hiding a positive statement mm. right mm. okay i have sworn you will not enter into my rest but just so you know my works were finished before the foundations of the world mm -hmm. so every child of god is called into the rest of god the finished work of the book of genesis and that is what we have been restored Unto. unto we're being restored unto that and the bible says for he spake in a certain place of the seventh day on this wise and god did rest the seventh day from all his works so pastor pauline let's take an example within the word rest now we have learned today that every word reveals the creator mm -hmm. for example the word pen mm -hmm. the word pen has within it several pens and different colors mm -hmm. some of them have not even been revealed in this world <laughs> yet right yes. that all of them are pens within the word pen mm -hmm. what kind of rest do you think is found in the word rest <laughs> number one Cease from all your levels. As God did from his. As God did from his. Mr. Now Pauline, that is rest. Now that is rest. <laughs> you know. Wow. Thank you, Lord. So 
so Pastor this is what this is what I'm seeing in this word rest, right? Because when we look at the word rest, and we look at how God created everything and finished, we see that God still fellowshiped. So fellowship is a product of rest. That's good. See yes. that? May I say something else? Yes. Naming is a product of rest. I like that one. I like that one. Because you can only name when your faculties, when all of your faculties have understood what you're naming. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. This is a gorilla. <laughs> right? Makes sense. Why gorilla? Gorilla. Why gorilla? Yeah. And again, it's a manifestation of dominion, right? Yes. Now, now you're seeing yes, my the point. Position of right? sitting. So, so, Pastor Pauline, when now you say this is a gorilla, right? The gorilla understands my master just named me. Yes. My master does not fear me. But my master has given me a name that looks like me. Mm -hmm. That puts within me potential. Yes. To be that, that word that has been released. It is my personal word. That's right. Uh, That's right. Uh, so mother, teacher, right. doctor, uh -huh. those are names. Yes. Influenza. Mm. That's a name. <laughs> you know, you can really begin to just think about all kinds of names. Right all now. kinds of names. All kinds of names. <laughs> and, and, the, and there is no name that is higher than the name of Jesus. Right. So when you say Jesus, what comes? Oh. <laughs> the fullness of the Godhead bodily. <laughs> yeah. That's Colossians chapter 2. Hallelujah. So, so that fullness comes. Jesus. So, Pastor Pauline, I can see why one person can say, Jesus, 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 and nothing is happening. And then another one says, Jesus. Woohoo! You get the flow of the Holy Ghost from where that person is speaking from. Yes. One person knows the Lord. The other one has heard the name. The name. And so we are told not to call the Lord's name in vain because when you mention the name, it, it makes its appearance. In the fullness of its work. In the fullness of it. It makes its appearance. Oh, that God is gracious. So, yes. Welcome, Mom. Hello, mom. <laughs> anyway. Yes. And in this place again, verse 5. If they shall enter into my rest, seeing therefore there remaineth that some must enter therein, they to whom it was first preached entered not in because of unbelief. You know, Pastor Pauline, for some days now, we have been on this statement. Good comes and some people don't see it mm -hmm. because they have taken themselves out of God's provision. You know, By Father... Yeah, focus on men. Yes. Confidence. Because that scripture says, woe is anyone who puts his confidence in man. Yes. He will not see when good comes. We yield to Jehovah God today. Because in Him we live and move. Yes. And have our being. Totally yield unto you, Jesus. Jesus. Totally yield unto you, Lord. I have never forgotten. The day God began to expound to me what happens 
as described in first john when we have fellowship one with another how the spirit of god moves in the midst of the people of god and and healing comes in and deliverance comes in and sanctification comes in because god is in the midst of his people yes and even tonight thank you jesus the colors of god are moving within <laughs> the, the place of god. fellowship the revelation of God is moving within this place of fellowship. For God is moving between and he's moving in and he's moving through. And his fragrance is felt all over. Because he's the limitless God. He's El Shaddai. God above all gods, El Shaddai is his name, mighty God, ah, he's El Shaddai, the God above all gods, we yield to you tonight, oh El Shaddai. Have your way. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Wherever you are tonight, just permit the enveloping presence of God to just move around you. And bring finality to some circumstances and, and some situations and, and, and bring, you know, that terminus. And lift you up for the word of God says he's the glory and the lifter of your head. The one who made the elephants is definitely bigger than them. There is no situation that's above our God. Karama sora masaniya kareda karanda. In an abrea gando so coria rabaco shandeli break it alunda aliminda lo rosca pafandalio holy amareca shanda raba. We magnify your Lord God, we acknowledge your sovereignty, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, you know, this, 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 this kind of sounds like one of those times when the nations are all on their knees before the lord all crowns taken out and put down at the feet of the king of kings and the lord of lords i am not sure what's happening in the rest of the world right now but i can tell you that there is worship that is going up to the lord even by the same worship that you were releasing as a child of god this very minute to the lord the sound the sound that is going up to heaven is causing is causing the glory of god to make statements about god indeed his strength fills the temple Jesus, you are holy. Oh, you are holy. Korari kura la vara rora masiri hinda handa rataka lira lo mosi brahanda zeki karonda sorumonda di e kariara la mashanda rakoso kora la bradi ke parana le ronda skapenda la harando skoro moshanda radadi le bravando skopranda le karabashanda the sovereignty of God the sovereignty of God the sovereignty of God even now we release it in the homes in the name of Jesus Lord may you permeate the hearts in it now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus 
precious Holy Spirit, as many as are listening to you right now, may you bring a reality to Jesus, a reality about Jesus, a reality, oh God, about Jesus that we have not seen or known or heard or felt before, oh God, in the name of Jesus, even in this home, oh God, where a grave has been dug and they are just waiting. I pray, oh God, that you will come into that space and turn the situation around and put a testimony in their mouths. Let them know that God who answers by fire, even tonight, has responded, oh God. In the name of Jesus. There's someone you've been asking yourself why your veins are popping on your body and you've been looking at yourself and you can see the veins. Be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. You. you were actually stigmatized. People actually said this is some kind of witchcraft spell. But I want you to hear the word of the Lord tonight. Healing is your portion. For God sent forth his word and delivered the people from their destruction. That's your portion tonight. Be healed and be delivered. Even as the word of God is going forth, declaring unto you, you are healed. You are healed. You are healed. You are healed in the name of Jesus. We take authority over the spirit of death in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare that anyone who digs a pit shall fall into it himself, it is written. So you shall not go down into this grave. We come against the spirit of death right now in the name of Jesus. We close up that grave in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare that it is not meant for you. Premature death is not your portion in the name of Jesus. As many as have death sentences over them tonight, we bind that in the name of Jesus. We revoke it in the name of Jesus. We say overturn, overturn, overturn in Jesus' mighty name. We close up every open grave right now in the name of Jesus we decree and declare it's not over until God says so we call on you oh God you are the giver of life we call on you the resurrection and the life that you move on the behalf of your people tonight in the name of Jesus we cancel that death sentence in Jesus mighty name we speak life we speak life we speak life we speak life in Jesus mighty name I see people across the nations of the world having an experience in a place of worship I see people moving I see people following and flowing with the move of the spirit tonight i see you moving i see you coming into deeper places in the spirit i see you worshiping i see you worshiping and i see your worship going on to the lord even as you follow the readings of god there is a there is a following of the rhythms of God and some of you are experiencing this for your very first time and some of you are actually coming into 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 dancing into dancing like like someone who's dancing according to the flow of the orchestra you're following that you're following that and these are the moves of God that you're moving into and and some of you are coming into into places of, of a prophetic move, a prophetic move where you're beginning to hear the voice of God because your inner man is being opened up to the voice of God. So even tonight, just let yourself go. Just let yourself go right where you are. Right where you are. Just entertain the spirit of the Lord God tonight. Entertain the spirit of the Lord God this very minute. Let him take you to those places. Let him take you to the depths. 
into the depths of the Lord and in the depths of his heart even now in the name of Jesus yes release that sound unto the Lord release that sound unto the Lord release that sound unto the Lord come on I see people who are flowing with that I see you even 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 turning these waves into waves of, of warfare and they, and they are moving into realms and generations all the generations that that, that had been before you even, even yeah that's right before you were born and I see you moving into those realms and I see things being destroyed in the spirit realm curses have been destroyed right now words that have been set on 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 stone are being toppled over right now oh hallelujah the blood of jesus is is flowing with you and it's erasing it's erasing it's wiping out oh yes and today being that day you're moving into new realms in god new realms pastor peter i just saw in a vision the, uh, the the cleansing of a, of a fireplace it's oh, like wow. in a home and there's this huge brush and there's a cleansing mm -hmm. of that fireplace and things are being rearranged and i see new wood yes. being brought into that fireplace Arabo, Shatalabaga, Zekete. and as many as have lost fire from their altars oh, even this day even tonight yes. Reka, Soko, Talabagada, there's a cleansing right now in the name of jesus oh, there's a repairing of those altars oh, tonight yes. in the name of jesus and fresh fire is being rekindled on those altars fresh wood is being brought in and fresh fire is being rekindled on those altars tonight in the name of jesus so so for as many of you as have been struggling with your prayer life there's been a struggle to pray there's been a struggle to be in the presence of god there's been a struggle to read the word there's been a struggle to fast there's a ref there's a refiring tonight in the name of jesus a rekindling of that fire a rekindling of that fire a rekindling of that fire in the name of Jesus. Reba Shoko Talamagadalabase Roshondoli Yabayandelebe Kesi Kabara Rosh Kondili Yabayandelebe Kesi Kabara. Once more, smoke shall be seen from the chimney of that house. Once more, smoke shall be seen coming out of the chimney from that house. For it's been a long time, the Lord says, it's been a long time since I saw smoke come up from the chimney of this house. Reka Paso Kota Mekendeli Yabayandeleboso. And once more, the shall be smoke coming forth up out of the chimney of that house. Riba da la bose keteli yabayanda mekandele bros konda la bagazaba la broso hika pasata. Have your way, God, in the name of Jesus. Set your people on fire even tonight in the name of Jesus. Hey, man, da la bros. Right here, just got opened up. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Your right ear just got Thank you, Holy opened Ghost. up. God has just done a healing work. Thank you, Lord. A healing work right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Passageways cleaned. Thank you, Jesus. It's been cleaned up. It's been cleaned up. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, yes. And it's a healing of a left shoulder pain. Most often you feel it all the way to your shoulder blade. And it, sometimes you feel it when you exert any form of energy. When you try to pick something up, it feels like a, a piercing all the way to your heart. And even now God is healing that left shoulder pain. Rabo shabada labra sekete. Mondelebe sikamanda labro sotalabagada. We believe we receive God in the name of Jesus. Sanda Labo, be healed in Jesus' mighty name. Roshotola Magadalaba. Rheumatoid arthritis, I hear God say. Healing even now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Reba Sotola Magadalaba Sekete. In that day, this is that day. This is the day of your healing. Reka so tola magada la baba and lebe seke biada la bosho. Meka tala mosha. So be healed in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. We give you the praise, God. We give you the praise, God. Hende ria bayada la brosh kota la bagada. Rika tara mundo lo mokonda la bagaza bagada. Rika pa so konda la magada la brosho.
There is a breaking open of some dams. I just saw dams break open. I just saw dams break open. I don't know what that represents to you. Rika pa sokonda la bagada. Make the lia bayanda la bosha. But the water that have been held back. Hey, Katalama is being released even now as those dams break open and the waters gush forth. Rimanda la brosh, Kotalama gada la base, Ribron de lebeke, Sikabara la broso, Mandele beke, Sikabara. Father, that your people will not be held back any longer in the name of Jesus. Whatever was clogging the pipes, we command those pipes to be unclogged right now in Jesus' name. Rosh, Shabara la ba, Rekandalama, Seke Telebrosho. Father, we thank you for the breaking open of these dams in the name of Jesus. Rebrandala Bosha for the flow of the anointing. Rekandala Bosha that your people will flow in their assignments and ministry. That there will be a flow in their in their finances in Jesus' name. There will be a flow in their relationships in the name of Jesus. A flow in the word in their word life. A flow in the in the prayer lives in the name of Jesus. A flow in their lives of evangelism. A flow, a flow, a flow in the mighty name of Jesus. A flow in their worship and praise life. Have your way, God. Have your way, God. Ira brosho talamada. Rabanda la brosko talabagada. Yeah, a greater flow in the prophetic. Ribron de lebeke simanda la brasaba. Reka saka patolo kondele mianda la bagada. Rebron de lomo konda la bagazika bagata la brosko talabagaze. Imande le braski diria bayande le bokondo lomo koshaba. Ribro kote eke kibiondo lomo konda la bagada. Rekanda la mokonde le biada la bokosha. Rabaka soko tola makate eke de limaka po shokoto. Imanda la bagaze kete. You shall not be held back one more day. Rekanda la mokonde liya bayanda la bo. Shabada la bros kondele biagada. For you are patiently waited for your appointed time, Reka Soto, and behold, your change has come. Rimaka say, Rebronda la Makate, Ikapakaso, Makanda la Mokonde, Yabayande Lebeke say, Rosso Talabaga Zekete. So you go forward and you go up out. Ikandala Maka de Lebros, Kondala Bagaze, Rosson de Lebianda Labase, Rondo Lobocos are no longer restrained. Emanda la Mondo Lobo Shabada, no longer limited, no longer restricted. Rebron de Lebeke. Sibara la broso, mandele beke, si kabayanda la bokonda la bagada, henda la makata. For behold, the fear of man is broken from off of you. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. Re kasa tala, re kanda na masa kabayanda, enderi abayanda la bosha. Kara rabo shoto raba gase keteri abayada. Kana na nama se ketele bo shoto robo kosabata. Kana na nama se tele bras kara raba sabata. There are some doors that have been opened tonight. Doors of opportunities. And for some of you, you are very aware that those doors have been opened before, and you didn't jump in like you were instructed to. And you know fully well, even tonight as I'm speaking, that this is the mercy of God causing that opportunity to come back. And this time, go forth without the fear of man in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for great grace. We thank you for great grace. We go forth boldly. For you are our light and our salvation. We shall not fear. You are the strength of our lives. We shall not be afraid. You are our help. 
We will not be afraid what man can do to us. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God. For the harvest that comes forth as a result of our going forth in obedience. We thank you for the harvest that comes forth as a result of our going forth in obedience. Be exalted, God. For the electricity that is generated as a result of this dam. There are multiple dams, guys. Mult I just see multiple dams breaking open. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Rabba Shetele Bosho Talamanda Lamagasit. Thank you, Lord. There is a word that God has spoken to you, you. child of God. Thank you, Jesus. And this right here would be an opportunity for you to step into that word and come into the rest of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I saw the formation of cartilage. Mm. The formation of sinews tonight. Jesus is healer. Amen. Amen. Be healed. In Jesus' name. Be healed. Step into that word now. In the name of Jesus. Be healed. Be healed. Be set free. Yes. Be set free. Be set free. Be loosed. Thank you, Be loosed. Be set free. Thank you, Lord. Be loosed. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Be made whole. Amen. Be made whole Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Be refreshed now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Everything that was closed be opened now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Be replenished now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Light shine. Light be mm. now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you. You know, Pastor Pauline, one of the things that I saw tonight In the name of Jesus. I found myself looking like a sprinter. Very agile. And I was jumping over some structures. And when I looked at the structures, I remember going up and going up and just skipping, mm -hmm. just skipping. <laughs> uh, interesting. And on this other side, I turned and I looked back. And I was still seeing this network of tunnels. 
So I was literally jumping from tunnel to tunnel. Mm. Someone wanted me to see the network of the tunnels. Then we came to this other part. He said, come, I want you to see something. Then when I came to this part, I saw the strangest thing ever. There was someone sitting in those tunnels. And I looked. I said, what's going on? The food in this tunnel was stale. Some of it had grown mold. It was bad. This was not good for consumption at all. And the person I saw in this particular tunnel had sores on their body. And I was thinking, what is going on? For a second, I asked myself, are we still in the kingdom? I said, yeah. And so I even got the more confused. Mm -hmm. I said, how can this be the kingdom? He said, I want you to see what choice can bring about. I said, I, said, I don't mm. understand. I don't understand. I thought this was the, the network. This network of tunnels reveals the life of faith. He said, yes. He said, watch. He said, do you see all of these other tunnels that I brought you to? These are people living a higher life because of the words they have chosen to believe in. Oh. He said, this person down here, say, say, look, look at what is coming through. And I began to see these things coming through like, like um, 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 segments on a train. Mm -hmm. Different uh, um, um, coaches coming through. And then said, see, they are not getting on any. And I said, oh, he said, yeah. He said, the words that you believe in are the words that nourish you. Yeah. If you receive words of healing, they will provide healing to you. Yes. You receive words of deliverance, they'll provide deliverance to you. Mm -hmm. You receive the word of God concerning forgiveness, it will provide forgiveness right. for you. And you will also be able to release forgiveness unto others. He said, but when you don't take on the word of God, you are a child of God, but you'll be living in that wretchedness. Yeah. But you are in the kingdom. Lord have mercy. So child of God, I don't know where you are tonight in your walk with God. Hallelujah. But I want to highlight some scriptures to you tonight. Mm. That's okay. The first one is Romans chapter 1. I want you to see something with me tonight. Thank you, Lord. Romans chapter 1. And the Bible says in verse 16. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that what? Believe it. That believe it. So, irrespective of how much you have known the Lord, if you do not take on his word, then you will not be ushered into your new day. Mm -hmm. And that's what he's saying to us. Okay, but watch this, Pastor Pauline. It says... To the Jews first and also to the Greek. Verse 17. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. From tunnel mm -hmm. to tunnel. From oh, world yeah. to world. Within the worlds of faith. Of faith. Mm. So you can move from yeah. one galaxy to another galaxy, <laughs> from one world to another world, from one planet to another planet, as you take on what is revealed by the word. As it is written, the just shall live by faith, 
not by money, but by faith. By faith. Right. By faith. So faith is how we live. Yes. Faith is how we travel. Faith is how we move from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. That's right. And faith is the way we move from sickness into light. Amen. In this case, healing. <laughs> yes. Amen. Faith is how we move from an empty pantry to a full pantry. Oh, yes. Amen. Faith is how we move from not relating with angels to angels bringing us food. Mm -hmm. And I was like, hey, wow. Possibilities in God. How would you know? You are not taking the word of God just like now. But God wants to Thank bring us Jesus. into this places in Him. But always remember, child of God, faith is how you travel. Yeah. So when you realize that there is a void in your life, it is a call into a place of abundance. And right gates an invitation to seek the word. That will take you there. Everyone who wants to travel waits for the train that takes them there, mm -hmm. the bus that takes them there, or the plane that takes them there, or mm -hmm. the ship that takes them there. So they will go and purchase the ticket, the ticket. for that journey. That's a good analogy. So, child of God, where do you want to travel to? And are you willing to purchase the ticket to go into that place? And that ticket is the word of God. Amen. Because the train is constantly moving. It is constantly moving. And God is saying, well. Jump into the word that takes you there. Jump into the word that takes you there. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isn't that wonderful? Thank you, Jesus. Thank Second you. Corinthians chapter 5. Hallelujah. Second Corinthians chapter 5. Second wow. Corinthians chapter 5. Okay. The Bible says in Second Corinthians chapter 5. Permit me read from verse 1 and then we are going to go to the particular verse. Okay. For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. <laughs> See where our house is? <laughs> eternal in the heavens. In the the heavens. devil, you have lied. <laughs> Hallelujah. For if, uh, for, sorry, it says, for in this we groan, earnestly desiring to be clothed upon with our house, which is in heaven. If so be that being clothed, we shall not be found naked. For we that are in this tabernacle do groan, being burdened. Not for that we would be unclothed, but clothed upon that mortality might be swallowed up of life. Wonderful. Interesting. Now, he that has wrought for us. Oh, let me read that right. Now, he that has wrought us for the self same thing is God, who also had given us the earnest of the Spirit. Therefore, we are always confident, knowing that whilst we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord. For we walk by faith. We walk by faith, not by sight. You know, God said something to me today. I was in my office and he said something to me today. He said, you know, you and your brothers keep teaching that walking in faith is walking in blindness. I never said that. I was like, oh. He said, walking in faith is walking in confidence. It is not blindness. He said, my, my word is a lamp unto your feet, isn't it? Then how come 
you tell people that they are walking in blindness. I understand that you're trying to explain, but your explanation is wrong. I said, yes, sir. I hear you. <laughs> then he said, if my word comes to you and lights up your path and brings you into a place of faith, you're not walking in blindness. He said, no person of faith walks in blindness. It's only the one who tries to walk by faith who is in blindness. Mm. I <laughs> said, okay, okay, got so you, So walk by faith and stop trying to walk by faith. He said, because the one who is trying to walk by faith isn't convinced. Yeah. The word has not appeared unto they them. They haven't had a word But yet. the word, when it appears to you, brings with it the revealed the things that God has yeah. for you. He said, that is what you should understand. I said, oh, yes, I'm going to tell them tonight. It makes perfect sense. So you're definitely walking in the light and you cannot stumble. That's what the word says. Because the word illuminates your path. Yes. And, 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 and that being the case, we are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. Mm -hmm. That's the life of an encapsulated person. Amen. So I, I have jumped and gone to, to, to 2 Corinthians chapter 4. We see you. And, and verse 8. <laughs> <laughs> you see me. Yes, yeah. We are perplexed, but not in despair persecuted but not forsaken cast down but not destroyed always bearing about always bearing about in the always. body the dying of the lord jesus that the life Thank also you. of the lord jesus might be made manifest in our bodies he said when do you see blindness in that i said oh no sir there's no blindness <laughs> oh no Hallelujah. sir there is no blindness he said he said every time i bring a word to you it only brings certainty and certainty and blindness are not brothers oh <laughs> certainty and blindness are he not said brothers. a blind person wonders where they are putting their feet not a person of faith so a child who knows what i have said to them isn't moving blindly they know something you don't know you may think they are confused and their certainty makes you wonder if they even know what they are dealing if with. if they know what they are dealing with so hallelujah <laughs> praise that the lord so good. praise the lord hallelujah. so so yeah walking in faith is not walking blindly it is walking on something walking in something and walking with something yeah. and that thing is god he is the author and the finisher of our faith Amen. So there's no such thing like, oh, I'm not sure what I'm doing right now. You know, let's just see how things will turn around. Okay, then that clearly says you're not in faith. Because only people who are not illuminated are blind. No, I had a grilling today. You can see I'm, I'm releasing. Yeah, we can see. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we say, you know, I'm walking. This is blind faith. And just like God said to you, I, I know what you're trying to say, but it's wrong. Yeah. Oh, it's wrong explanation. But exactly, you're trying to explain that. <laughs> Now it's funny. Yeah. About it. I, I remember the day the day I, I said I said people are, are are condemned to prosper. And my pastor said to me, What? Condemned to prosper? Do you understand that there is no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus? I remember you saying, Mom, don't worry about it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix, go it fix it right, right now. now. You know? And I went right away and I fixed it. Right away. You went right back to the pulpit and I said excuse me everybody i know i said this i want to fix that that was wrong yeah because this is what the bible said that's right <laughs> and she just looked at you and shook yeah. her head like i yeah. nodded yeah. so so she said there is no such thing as condemned to prosper <laughs> and, and she said some other things but but i hear even today people say people say so you you don't condemn someone into goodness because mm. a condemnation, condemnation in itself is, in itself has an evil connotation. has an evil connotation i said yes mom i go fix it right about now you know let me tell you guys something having the right kind of parent in your life will save you it will save Amen. you because yes, every, every, yes, yes. every every rebuke Woo. is an addition <laughs> to your life it is <laughs> Every rebuke is an addition to your life. Definitely an addition. Sometimes it's a multiplication. <laughs> I, I would have been going to places now and say, you're condemned to prosper, you're condemned to prosper, you're condemned to prosper. The devil is a liar. You know? You no, were fixed right on time. I was fixed <laughs> right on time. Sometimes we adopt things from people, yes. you know? 
and and they have no scriptural yes. basis yes the word of god says there's therefore now no condemnation to them that are in christ jesus and yeah. and uh, I, I i some people actually say you're sentenced to blessings mm -hmm. wow yeah and again we get what they are trying to say yeah like to say this this cannot be reversed yeah. this is a, a decree a sentencing but the word sentence in that phrase has a negative you only sentence a guilty person right so so all through so 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 it's better to say you're released into blessings right it it, it reveals the freedom state yes of the child of yeah. god hallelujah because as a child of god you should be revoking sentences not right. sentencing people because so we, we we understand the the context within which they are trying to express that yeah but, but thank god that context is not necessarily scripture ah we know how the holy ghost ha, no he knows how to straighten us out <laughs> that's right that's right he said, this but, is the right way of saying it so we are learning right. every day yes. and when you come into fresh knowledge on something it's important for you to be quick to make the adjustments right by the spirit of god amen thank you lord thank you lord so we are illuminated we walk by faith and not by sight and because we walk by faith we are not walking in blindness nope we are walking in the light of the word we are walking in assurance yes we are walking in assurance. Anyone who comes to God must believe that God is mm -hmm. and that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. If I already know that my reward is coming, there's nothing blind about it. Right. There's nothing blind about it. When Abraham was told this same time next year, he said, that's right, sir. Let's go prepare. Right? So that's the word of God. Yes, sir. That's Amen. the word of God. And, and, so, and so we walk by faith. By faith. We walk by faith and not by sight. by sight. We walk by faith and not by sight. <laughs> so we live by faith. Yes. Now we walk by faith. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. We look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. So the things are not seen, but we are looking at them. So we are seeing. <laughs> Glory. <laughs> <laughs> so you're able to look into the invisible and see. That's right. Because you're walking by faith. Because you're walking by faith. Amen. Hallelujah. So, 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 so take note of that. Number one, uh, um, uh, we live by faith. Mm -hmm. Right? For the Joshua, mm -hmm. live, the by Joshua live by faith. Number two, we walk by faith. We walk by faith. Number three, Second Corinthians chapter one. Second Corinthians Jesus. chapter one. Yes, that's my favorite. Hi. Verse twenty-four. The Bible says, "Not for that we have dominion over your faith." And I really love every child of God to understand this. Nobody has dominion over your faith, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Not that we have dominion over your faith, but a help us of, of your, your joy. joy. Right? Help us of your joy. For by faith. I stand. That's my favorite. Come on. By I faith, stand. Stand. we stand. Yes. Child of God, Amen. you stand by faith. Amen. Amen. You stand by faith. By faith, I we stand. stand. By faith. Amen. Amen. And this is not, I am strong, I'm just going to stand here. If you want to kill me, you'll kill me. No, first of all, you have introduced something terrible in this beautiful thing that is called you standing. Mm -hmm. Right? No, this is where I stand. That's it. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So, we live by faith. We walk, we by, walk faith. by faith. And we stand. We stand. By faith. by faith in him we live and move and, and have our being. being that is what the word of god is saying to us hallelujah okay. that's what the word of god is saying to us though our okay. outward man perish but our inward man is renewed day, day, by, by, day. day by day hallelujah it is yeah. renewed day by day and pastor pauline may we go to another one yes sir hebrews let's go to he 
Hebrews. <laughs> Let's go to Hebrews. Hebrews. Woo! Hebrews chapter 11. You, Hebrews chapter 11. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. So we are in Hebrews chapter 11, and the Bible says in verse 3, Through faith we understand. So we understand by faith. This is the King James Version says we understand. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, another version says, by faith we know. Mm -hmm. We know. So there is, there is nothing blind. That's, that's my point. That God was showing me is that there is nothing blind about faith. Anyone who is in a place of faith understands. They have an understanding that you cannot oh, even kick them out of. Amen. 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 And that's the confidence in which we stand. Yes. Yeah. By faith um, we understand. By faith we know. We know. And what do we know? We know that the worlds were framed by the word of God. So that things which are seen were not made by things which do appear. I like the way someone said it. They said, a formless stuff created everything that has a form. Mm -hmm. In fact, he said, a formless thinking stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. God who is formless... And who has all of this thinking has been able to think and create this world the way it is. That's mm -hmm. interesting. That's interesting. For I know the thoughts that I have concerning oh, yes. you. Hallelujah. Right? Yes. And these thoughts are going to bring you into an expectation. An expected end. Yes. That which I expect concerning you. Things are coming together. Come Seek ye out of the book of the Lord. None of this shall one have made. You know, every word is tagging the other word, and all words yes. are coming together. In the name of In Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Woo! Every word is tagging the other. Yes. Don't just say it like that and, and rush through it. Okay, okay. Sister, every okay, word sister. is tagging the other, Pastor Peter. Yes. Man. Did you know? Yes, man. Yes, man. Yes, man. So, so when, 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 when a wagon has gone through, that word has gone through. It whistles to all other words. I made it. Waiting for you. That's right. So every word is waiting for the other word and waiting Thank for the you, other Jesus. word and waiting for the other word Woo! and waiting yes, for the other word. Record. So now. Uh, hmm. <laughs> They're You've got to recall each again. Other, yeah. Dragging each other. Come on. Yeah. It's time for manifestation. That's Let's, right. go. Let's, go. On. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's In go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And adding speed to it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so, what, 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 what have we seen? That's right, Pastor Cynthia. <laughs> what, what have we seen? We have seen we live by faith. We live by faith. We, we walk, walk by, by faith. faith. We stand by faith. We stand by faith. And we understand and know. We understand and know. And know by, by faith. faith. That's exciting. Yes. That's exciting. That's very exciting. Praise the Lord. Amen. That's very exciting. Amen. Because God is showing us that our world is not a vague one. No, I mean, I'm talking of children of faith tonight. Your world is not vague. Oh, there are yeah. several people who look at you and say, this is your faith thing. Don't you think it's crazy? <laughs> Well, the word of God says the cross, the preaching of the cross yeah, yeah. is foolishness. It's foolishness to the, those who are perishing. That's right. Okay, so let me give you one more. Yes, we're God, ready for you. God said there is nothing blind, nothing blind about faith. Amen. Hebrews chapter 11. Okay. We are there. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, verse 1. Yes. The evidence of things not seen. For by faith, elders obtain a Come good on. report. Amen. So by faith, we obtain. Amen. Child of God, right, right, right there, you can just go to sleep. <laughs> by, faith, by faith, we, we obtain. obtain. Amen. Amen. By faith, by faith we, we obtain. obtain. By faith, we obtain. So do you want to obtain? It's by yes, faith. it's by faith. Hallelujah. By faith. By faith. Thank you, Lord. There's more. 
We are ready for you, sir. You're ready for me? Yes. Okay. Let's check this one out. Let's check this one out. First John. First John. <laughs> <laughs> First John. Verse 4. For whatsoever is born of God. <laughs> chapter first. Okay, chapter 5. Exactly. <laughs> Capitolo 5. That's right. <laughs> For whatsoever me. is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. So by faith we overcome. We overcome. By faith we overcome. We overcome. There is nothing blind about faith nothing absolutely nothing the word of god illuminates and brings us into a place of sight i know what i would not have otherwise known that's right absolutely. i understand what i would not have otherwise understood mm -hmm. the word of god leads <sighs> me oh, oh there hallelujah. is a certainty that comes with faith that you may not have the explanation because it doesn't say by faith you explain it says by faith you obtain by faith you know by faith you understand by faith you stand by you by faith you walk <laughs> by faith you live there's a certainty that comes with faith that when you try to explain it that's when you actually Ooh. really look stupid because there is no explanation for it. There is just a knowing. There is a certainty. There is no explanation outside of God said it. Because seriously, that's what it is. The word that you receive that causes you to move into a place of faith, that word brings illumination. So you are walking on that word and, and definitely your path is illuminated so you can see. Yes. Hence, God saying there is nothing blind about faith. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't pity a man of faith. Oof. <laughs> Come on. It is pointless. He knows where he's going to. Did you hear that? Don't pity, Don't a, pity man a man of faith. Don't pity a man of faith. And Don't, that Don't pity a woman of faith. Don't pity yourself, woman of faith. Don't pity yourself, man of faith. Never you pity a man of faith. Because when they would have obtained, you will stand there. <laughs> the prophecy shall appear to all. Wow. You have standing there scratching your head like, what? And they really said this thing. Yes. <laughs> you get to hear that a lot. And, uh, yeah, and, they, and they were saying this thing. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. Yeah, now they are really walking the, those things that they said. Yes. Never you pity a man of faith. It's pointless. <laughs> it's pointless. Because they will overcome. <laughs> They are going somewhere. It's a, it's a, the path of the righteous is... Ah. Mm. That's the point. If a man of faith is put in jail... This is so good, guys. Right? If, if a man of faith is put in jail, and while in jail, he is beheaded, he's going to heaven. He has no problem with anyone. He cannot be held down captive in any way, shape, or form. He cannot form. lose. You take Paul and Silas, men of, of faith, put them in jail. There will be an earthquake. It doesn't matter what you do. <laughs> now all the other prisoners are set free. That's right. So watch out. <laughs> watch out how you touch people of faith. Because they will ascend into realms. You will wonder why you even started. <laughs> Don't you ever be a man of faith. <laughs> it's like on one of those Sundays we're talking about how when, when the enemy thinks he has you down, he doesn't realize that down at his feet is the most high place. Yes. <laughs> he can be rejoicing thinking you are down. Oh no, that you being down is the greatest position ever. Yeah. Because oh, now you're at goodness. his feet. <laughs> you are now at his feet. So never you pity a man of faith. No. no. And if you are standing in faith, know that you obtain by faith yes so stop pitying yourself yeah you there's nothing to be pitied about you <laughs> in the name I, of I, jesus I, I, I think i think i can mention the the other one now. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> so we are in ephesians chapter six all right ephesians chapter six. Oh, this is good <laughs> in ephesians chapter six the bible talks about putting on the whole armor of god mm -hmm. right 
And then it comes down to verse 16. It says, Above all, taking the shield of faith, right? Mm -hmm. Take on the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to, what? Quench, Quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Mm -hmm. By faith, we are protected. Amen. 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 By faith, we are preserved. Preserved. So there is no such thing like, okay, someone is in faith and doesn't know what to do. All of these attacks, what is going to happen to them? You know, I entered somewhere the other day. There were, there, were about, there were like three or four children of God in that home that I came into. And, and people were praying in different places in that home. And so when I came in, the, I heard someone this way, I bind you in the name of Jesus. And, and they were praying like that. And then I, I listened to this other prayer on this other side. And it was worth it. I released the fire of God. I released the fire of God. I was like, oh, okay, okay. And then I heard the other prayer. And this, I was like, oh, blood of Jesus. It is fire in this house. <laughs> and, um, and I paused for a second. And I heard God say something within me. He said, let people know that many of the weapons they are using now have been turned into harvesting tools. Just reminded me of something. It's not for them. He said, he said, he said, he said, he said, I have brought them into harvest. Yes. I've brought them into harvest. So, so you can go back to 7-Eleven and then you will see what I mean. Yes. Because you, we have to catch up to the revelation. Mm -hmm. Because if he says to you what he said in 7-Eleven, Genesis 7-Eleven. You could be there and saying, hold on, let me, let me, let me bind these two demons before I get into the wagon that God is saying to me. Right? Mm -hmm. But God is saying to you, I have moved you, son. Right. Turn that sword into a plowshare. Into a plowshare. I, I have <laughs> brought you into a harvest. Come on. You need to stop carrying false burdens. Turn your battle axe into pruning hooks. Right? Turn your swords into plowshares. Ah, oh, hallelujah. Harvesting too. And, and, and it's very easy you, to make your prayer life more about binding and losing and casting. You know what the, the Lord told me the other day? Mm -hmm. and, and I'm going to be talking about it during the prayer summit. The prayer percentages. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, the prayer summit is coming. All right. It's now, coming. It's coming. Percentages. At the end of this week. I want to hear about that. We will be at the summit at the Mount of the Lord, spending time with him in glory. It will be wonderful. We shall mount up with wings like eagles. Yes. Ah. We shall be in the arena where the glory and the lifter of our head has called us unto. Amen. Amen. We're going to be over there. Amen. Child of God, I don't know. I don't want to say, I'm not sure why you're going to miss this. But this is one thing you do not want to miss. The prayer summit shall yeah, be Yeah, Pastor wonderful. John, I want to hear too about those prayer percentages. Be because, Pastor Pauline, you know, they talk about 5% of this, 10% of this, 20% of this, then 100% of this. We'll talk about the prayer percentages. Okay, sir. We'll talk about the prayer percentage. All right. We are not missing it. We are patient. We'll wait. Sister Barbara, you? Sister Barbara says no sleeping at the prayer summit. <laughs> yes, sister. <laughs> <laughs> we'll follow your lead. <laughs> <laughs> yes, man. Glory. It shall be wonderful, shall be child wonderful. of God. Friday is around. And, and the by the way, I don't know how many of you are ready for Vineland, New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> The violent New Jersey is taking off ready on that. And getting ready. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we first of all have to accept it. We accept Hallelujah it. Then we get love. ready. Hallelujah. <laughs> then we discover that God has already, you know, done this what is baby girl. Yeah. We are getting ready. <laughs> we are ready and we are getting ready. <laughs> we shall be all over at the park. Violent New Jersey. So, Mr. Polly, isn't this amazing? It's like... <laughs> <laughs> Prayer summit, and then now we are in Vineland. Hallelujah to <laughs> Amen. 
Vineland, New Jersey. Listen, guys, for those of you who have not heard about <laughs> Vineland, New Jersey, um, we had a women's retreat. So Pastor Pauline had taken the ladies uh, up for a women's retreat at Cavalry Campground. And while they were at the retreat, I was enjoying my time at home. No woman around. <laughs> you know? Sometimes, us, sometimes really. you bless God for the women who are there to cook, if they cook. <laughs> Some told me that they don't cook. What do you mean if? <laughs> Some of your daughters don't want to cook. Hey. Anyway, so. But they, they do. They, they, they do. They do. They just don't know it. They, they do. do. Yes. I they agree. might not feel like it sometimes, but they do. I agree with you, sister. They do. <laughs> they do. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, so, so <laughs> whoa, Pastor Evelyn, <laughs> are you hearing Pastor Peter? <laughs> they do, they do. Anyway, anyway, that's that part. And and so and so, while I was enjoying my time at home, mm -hmm. missing us, you have to add that clause. Missing you guys appropriately. <laughs> I'll take that. The Lord God came to me in the vision of the night. Mm -hmm. And, and it, well, it's okay. A vision of the night. It's all right. The point is the Lord came to me and he began to talk to me about Vineland, New Jersey. I never heard that there was any place like Vineland, New Jersey before. Mm -hmm. And on that day when he was talking to me about Vineland, New Jersey, he actually took me out in the spirit mm -hmm. and began to show me the roadways. And then he said to me, after he took me to toward the north, he said, it is not here. Mm -hmm. He showed me the road construction and, the, you know, the network of roads over there. He said, it is not here. Then he took me for the south. And then he said, you see this part over here? I know you have been over here. It is not Salem. Mm -hmm. And then he said, you have to go that way. And all of this is leading up to, to Vineland, New Jersey. And um, he also gave us names of people and and functions mm -hmm. of of people in Vineland, New Jersey. And to cut a long story short, we visited Vineland, New Jersey and everything was as the Lord had said. Yes. And from that time until now, Vineland, New Jersey has become one of those things that we will forever talk about in our lives story. Yeah, there's no way you can tell your story without Vineland, New Jersey. No. And today I was having conversations with Minister Jimmy. Oh, I, I, no, said, no, I said, Minister Jimmy, I'm not sure you, you're ready for us. You know, a bunch of us are coming. Um, I believe it was two two years ago. We were I like your faith. Eh? My faith? <laughs> faith is not blind. This is, this, this is what we're talking about. This is exactly. it. This is it. This is it. A person of faith pulls others. In <laughs> fact, that, that just like kind of carries me uh -huh. to Genesis so like chapter the, 12. Your, your daughter is here asking, what if our future husband is watching? You just said that her daughters don't like to cook. <laughs> oh, which one is this now? <laughs> Tining said, what if her future husband is watching? What if her future husband is watching? Is watching. Are then he's going to pray. She <laughs> will be delivered. That is not even a problem. Yeah, that is uh, <laughs> that's a slender matter right there. That's a slender matter. It's a slender matter. It's a slender matter. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, because 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 Pastor Bonnie, this is the point. God does not provide bridges where people. God does not provide walking across the waters where bridges have been made. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. So, <laughs> Pastor Comfort, where are you? <laughs> So we are not going to be going to restaurants every day when we have a cooker at home. <laughs> why, why do we have a cooker? Like we took this to cook. And the point here is not that the woman's job is to cook. That's not the point. Yeah. It's the fact that someone wakes up and says, I don't want to cook. Right. So we need to address the spirit behind, I don't, I don't want, want to, to cook. Yeah. It's, it's like saying someone wakes up and says, I don't want to work. Right. Or someone wakes up and says, I don't want to be healed. You know there's a spirit behind that. Yes. You know that's not natural. It's, it's not natural. It's not. 
so so the devil is a liar we like is, cooking exactly minister barbara says we cook and we are ready special special tea on the menu <laughs> that's the plan <laughs> You see, these are, these are the things we are talking about. These are the things we are talking about. Someone in faith is never blind. Amen. God, you are very right. Amen. Anyway, Pastor Cynthia, I'm not sure you're following this conversation, but this is deep up in here. <laughs> Hallelujah. Pastor Evely says for Pastor Peter alone. Yeah, okay. the specialty. The specialty. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. So God is good, child of God. The Bible says when, when Abraham believed mm -hmm. what God had said to him, he took Sarah yes. and he took his entire household. Faith is so potent. It gives you the strength to carry people. Oh, yes. Don't we know it? Did That's we, right. Did we not offer ourselves in violence? That's exactly <laughs> the point. And so a bunch of people were in violent and this time again, it will be amazing. There will be miracle signs and wonders, guys. You know, child of God, I must say something to you. Years ago, years ago, a revival broke out in Vineland, New Jersey. That moved all the way to Azusa Street. And believe me, we are waiting for a move of God. We are waiting for a move of God. There is a generation that is rising. A generation that will win souls regardless of where they are. Amen. That Amen. will lay hands on people at the shopping centers. Amen. So it's Amen. coming because Amen. it's here. Amen. It's coming because it's here. To God be the glory. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Well, child of God, I hope you got at all of those points. Yes. Hope you gathered all of those points we for live Jehovah by God. Faith. We walk by faith. Yes. We stand by faith. That's right. We obtain by faith. Yes. We overcome by faith. Yes. What was the last one? Yes, what was the last one? We, said we, we carry stand... crowds by faith. <laughs> we carry crowds by faith. That's right. Mm -hmm. By faith, we are able we to pull. take people. Yes. We are able to pull. We are able to pull. By faith, we are able to pull. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. You know, child of God, we okay. are coming into okay. the table of exchange. And, and one of the young ladies who is going to be at the table of exchange tonight, such a blessing. I have been watching the grace of God increase on this young lady's life. Mm -hmm. Powerful minister of God. I know right now she's saying, who is he talking about? <laughs> um, that's right, Minister Carol. Nothing but faith. Did you hear how I called you, Minister Carol? Yes, that's right, Carol. Oh, yes, we're protected by faith. We're protected by faith. Mm -hmm. One of these days, you'll be on this broadcast. Amen. Amen. Telling the people about your journey of faith. Amen. Amen. Hello, Minister Reed and Tui. God bless you, Hi, woman of God. Leaders. Hallelujah. God is good. So we are going to be having Minister Noella come up. There are many things that she's going to... She said, yes, so... <laughs> Praise God. Amen, amen, amen. So good to have you guys tonight and, and, and sharing this conversation of faith. And, and, and it's, it, it only gets better. Yeah. It only gets better. So we give God the glory. It only gets it's better. Faithful. Yes. It's faithful. Yes, yes. Um, who, who is like our God? Who is like our God? Thank you, Jesus, for your faithfulness. I should die. Oh. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. So, guess what? You're welcome, Pastor Cynthia. Amen, amen. Always a delight having each and every one of you. That's right. Always a delight. Hi, Minister Lee's dog. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Hi, Minister Julie Prentice. Thank you. Hi, Prophetess Sandra Torres. Good to have you tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Indeed, our God is faithful. 
So we're looking forward to seeing you on Thursday. Today's Tuesday, right? Yes. What are the days of the weekend even? Today is Tuesday. So see you, <laughs> see you on Thursday. Yep. And then see you at the Prayer, prayer summit. summit. It will be wonderful. So we are getting on the table of exchange tonight and it will be glorious. It will be glorious at the table of exchange. This women of God are ready, fired up to release the glory. That's right. Amen. 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 amen oh, amen. and by the way, yes, um, I don't know how many of you know about Calvary Pentecostal Tabernacle. That's our campground family in Ashland, Virginia. We, we have annual summer camp meetings and we normally go over there to to help set up for camp yes every year so this year we are going to be there on june 11th if you're if you can walk on your schedule to go along with us this is going to work we are going there to work to clean to arrange the place clean it up wash the floors wash the chairs set up whatever needs to be set up so the nations can come for summer camp services please we welcome you to join us amen look forward to opportunities for service because yes. mantles are transferred mm. through service so we always look forward to those times when we go to clean um, at the campground so join us june 11th praise god so that'll be it for us tonight god bless you god keep you god cause his countenance to shine upon you god lift you up Amen. for he is the glory and the lifter of your head Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. may the blessings of the Lord be with you and, over, and, and overtake you Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. By faith, may you see good. My, by faith, may you come into understanding. Amen. By faith, may you prevail. Amen. May you overcome. Amen. For God has seen fit to bring you into a place Thank you, of Lord. Thank you, Lord. sufficiency Amen. by His grace. Thank you, Jesus. So we rise up and take hold of the very reason for which he took hold of us yes. in jesus name Amen. god bless you and see you very soon over to the table of exchange amen amen praise the lord everybody <laughs> amen what a marvelous service it was tonight this is the Kange household of faith and this is the table of exchange ladies how are you feeling after the service i'm excited I'm excited. I'm ready for the prayer summit. I'm ready to sow seeds of faith. I'm ready to walk in faith. Call me David. <laughs> <laughs> As we get ready for our offerings, I think it was really important to just highlight just a few things that were said. I mean, Pastor Peter and Pastor Pauline, they've said so much already, but one thing I, I can't even get over is, I mean, there's so many steps. We walk by faith. We stand by faith. We understand by faith. I mean, we obtain, we obtain by faith. faith. We overcome by faith. And we pull people by faith. Yes. I mean, I think personally for me, it gave me keys on how I can progress as I go forward. As I interact with people in my daily walk by myself, I mean, how can I overcome by faith if I don't understand what's being said? The word is so important. And also, let's not forget what uh, the words that came forth concerning our uh, fireplace being rekindled right you know and the dumps being open and the water is just gushing out so let us all remember that that even as we are going towards the prayer summit that we remember that as we're coming together to pray you're coming to commune with God and your fireplace has already been rekindled so amen. come ready for amen. that one-on-one -on -one with God amen number one thing that I keep hearing uh, is to be walking and expecting things as you come to this prayer summit do not come empty do not so if we just got this seed of faith knowing that when we go there you should be in faith you should know the things that you need god to handle the things that you already know god is going to do for you so like i said your name is david my name is david your name is david you have slayed the lion god has taken out the bear so now we go forth and we're about to take down goliath at this prayer summit Amen. so that is it your name is david Amen. Amen. we are going to pray really quickly for our offerings the ways to sow are all displayed on the screen the number for cash app and zell is 301-900-9102 
So let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you so much for the word that has gone forth this evening. We ask that as we sow into this fertile ground, O oh God, may our seeds be a hundredfold in the name of Jesus. I ask that each and every person that was sowing, Father, from a place where maybe it may be little, Father God, may you show them that you are indeed Jehovah Jireh, our provider. God, for each and every person that has sowed with a specific name onto their seed, may you show up like I, like I know only you can. God, we thank you, we bless you, and we come even right now with the heart of gratitude for that which you have done and will continue to do in Jesus' name. Amen. So let's talk about a few of announcement, a few announcements that we have. We've already discussed the prayer summit. We have discussed camp cleaning already. Pastor Polly mentioned that. We also didn't get to mention that there is the TDG business summit all yes. the way in August. So we've talked about, you know, we talked about June. We talked about July. <laughs> let's get to August. <laughs> yes, the business summit. So please, as you can see in the comment section below, we have. <laughs> The schedule is full, so please do not forget all that's coming up. If you can, put it in your calendars on your phone so you don't forget. That's how I live by my calendar, so please put and that please in. Please remember that the summit is this week on Friday, yes. Saturday, and Sunday. So please, please, please register. Please, please, and make sure you're there. Don't miss it. <laughs> don't do register not, not come. miss it. <laughs> Amen. Well, thank you so much. I mean... We'll see you on Thursday. So if there's anything that we missed, we will let you know on Thursday. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Bye. Bye.